Hi guys, I'm Cinnamon with Truck and Travel and today I'm going to show you guys how to change the fuel filters on a new Super Duty. What you'll need for this is an 8 millimeter socket. You'll need your fuel filters. This is the Ford Motorcraft brand. You'll need a towel or a big piece of cardboard for you to lay on. Ugh. You'll need an old icky bucket <laughs> that you don't care about. Okay, you're gonna need your bucket underneath this yellow knob right here, and uh, this is where it will drain out your diesel fuel. All right guys, as soon as it's done draining, go ahead and remove your dirty old bucket. Just to show you how much diesel drains out, we're gonna go ahead and put this in um, an old milk gallon. So it's about one gallon of uh, diesel fuel that you'll be expecting. So as long as you have a bucket that's big enough to carry that and a little bit more because when you scoot it out, you don't want it to slosh over every place. Just to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer, um, water is heavier than diesel. So it actually is a little bit lower. So they say that you're not supposed to use this diesel, like reuse it. Um, because it may have water in it. It goes through the filter and since there may be water in the bottom of it, this might have water in it. So you definitely don't want to reuse it. You want to just discard it. Once you guys are done draining the diesel, go ahead and close up this. All right guys, after you've already closed this up, you're going to take your eight millimeter socket and go ahead and remove all of the bolts. There was three on one side, two on the other. Just got the last one done. I'm gonna slowly bring it down. You're going to unhook the cable from the bottom, which was right here. Um, after you do this, you wanna loosen up the fuel filter. So you're gonna actually uh, push it back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you push it back and pull it up. Uh, you'll see there's a circle right here and right here, and that's where it lines up. So you're gonna take your old one and you're going to get rid of it and put in the new one. Before you put the fuel filter on, you wanna get rid of the old gasket and put the new gasket on. So it's right here. You're just going to pull that up and then put the new one in. And you'll see right where it fits into. So new gasket in. And here's the part that has the round. Um, this part on the bottom, you can see like where the notches are and stuff. You're going to line it up here. So here's the circular part. And then when you look in here, here's the circular part as well. So you'll line that up and it's pushed all the way down and we're going to push it forward. And once you do that, it's locked in there. The next step that you're going to do is you're just going to basically do everything in reverse. Um, you're going to go ahead and put this back in and all of the bolts that you uh, loosen, you're going to screw those back in, make sure that they're nice and tight, and then after that you're going to hook your cable back uh, in the bottom. All the bolts are good, so now we're going to go ahead and plug in our cable. So, and you're going to hear it snap when it's all the way connected. And I'm tugging it, and it's good. It's secure. So now it's time to go ahead and pop the hood. Alright guys, there are three lines that we have to disconnect. Uh, this is the second fuel filter. So there's one, two, three, and they all disconnect differently. All right, for this first one, you're gonna squeeze both of these and push down. And you can see the red goes down. And after you do that, 
you're going to pull it. <laughs> There's one. All right, for this one, there's a notch right here and over here is the exact same one as this. So you're gonna push both of them forward and then you're going to push so that this one, this part right here will pop out. All right, for this last one, you're gonna pull up so there's space and then on each side of it, you're gonna squeeze it. I'm gonna do it with this hand, it's easier. But you squeeze it together, and then actually that one's a very easy one to come off. So now that all three are disconnected. All right, next up after you have these three disconnected is you're gonna twist it, and then you're gonna pull it up. And I'm kind of tilting it back because this has diesel in it. All right, so I'm gonna take this piece off. Back in, have it twisted the same way, fits right in. Twist it over and then we're gonna connect all of them basically the opposite way that we connected the other ones. Okay, so this first one. And then push that in. Connect the second one. Okay, and then we're going to connect this first one that we had on here. And then push up on those, and it clicked. So all these are in the starting position that they were. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a pull to make sure everything's on right. These aren't budging. All right guys, next we're gonna get diesel fuel back to the fuel filters. We're gonna replace uh, everything that we took out. So what you're gonna do is we have, with our truck, we have a push start, so we're not gonna put our foot on um, any pedals. We're just gonna hit the button, and if you have a key, you just turn it one click, and we're gonna listen for it too. Once you go back to your vehicle and you press the start, um, whether it's with the key one turn or just pushing the start with no pedals pushed, you'll hear the fuel filters filling up and kind of bubbling. Uh, once you stop hearing that, you turn off the truck and then you're going to turn it back on and you're going to hear it again. You're going to repeat this several times uh, to allow that full gallon um, of diesel fuel to replace uh, to replace the, the one that we took out of all those fuel filters, both fuel filters. So um, just do it several times, however many times you feel comfortable with if you, until you can't hear that anymore. All right guys, when you think it's full and safe to start, go ahead and do so. Thank you so much for joining us and for watching. Make sure you give a big thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. There's also the bell to get alerts uh, because we'll be making other videos like this. Uh, we also vlog as well. We're on Facebook. We have a Facebook page. Share it if you guys like the shirt I'm wearing. You guys can snag this for your lady friends. And also you guys can get some goodies at shoptruckandtravel.com. Thanks very much guys for watching. Bye. And leave a comment. Let us know what you think about the video. Thanks guys. Nothing can break me.